my name is Ayo Fayoshi. I came to share moments with the President and Commander-in-Chief, President Bola Metinumbu. I am happy to be here. One, to congratulate Nigerians and congratulate the good people of Nigeria to the fact that this is a new beginning, a renewed hope. The steps so far taken can readily give us the direction of this government. Elections have come and gone without prejudice to the courts. But it's no more time for campaigns or selling a political party. It is time to govern Nigeria for the benefits of children yet, yet unborn and those of, those of us that are still here. And to equally let you know that I had very wonderful time with the president. You seem very alert and very clear in the direction he wants to take the country. But he can't do it alone. He needs all of us. Whosoever is on this saddle is Nigeria on the saddle. And we must stand by him. We must give our best. And I want to tell you that people like me, others like Governor Wiki and Governor Makide and other wonderful Nigerians, we have made up our mind that it is better to stand with a man of vision and to stand with Ashwadu Ahmed Balatinbu for the betterment of our country. That is why I'm here. Let me say again unequivocally, I've said it in several fora, I will never be a member of the APC. <laughs> I am a PDP man. If anything takes me out of a PDP or if I don't do partisan politics again, I will be the husband of my wife at home. <laughs> it, is not, it is not a matter of party. Nigeria is bigger than all political parties and yeah. all interest groups. I want to tell you again, you don't have to take an appointment to make a difference. Nigeria is a 200, about 200 million population. We all can be in appointment. Whosoever makes it, either in the APC or in an attempt to have a government of national unity, it's all about service. May I say to you expressly, I am not a desperate person at all. But I don't shy away, and I will never shy away to, to give direction wherever I am. I am with this government without apologies. Majority in the past can tell you, even when I was a sitting governor in Ekiti, I've always spoken well of Ashwaju and made Balati Numbu. I never knew today will come. And may I say to you, the agenda that I joined in the G5 to pursue is to have a Saddam president. Today, a Saddam president has emerged, and we're all Lastly, I, I don't know if I have answered the, the three questions. Thank you. Well, I, I, I want to say to you that Nigerians know me very well when President Buhari was to come. From day one, I made it very clear that the president would not do well. I did not hide. I was open to it, and I said it repeatedly. May I say to you, sir, ladies, Ladies and uh, gentlemen of the press, let me tell you, if Ashiwaju turns back on his promise, all he said when he was campaigning, I will be the first to talk. I am not timid, and I don't shy away from, from facing challenges. But the man I have seen today, I don't eulogize and I don't, I don't praise to, to call the favor. I am no more a small boy. Let me tell you, the man I saw today, and for the actions we have seen, means well for Nigeria. But if there's any reason to derail, it will not be deliberate. And we'll all be able to draw his attention to his brief as the president and commander in chief of our country. Let us be optimistic, let us be hopeful, and let us believe that there will be a turnaround. We're already in opposition, sir. Uh, sorry? I'm, I, I'm, doing, I'm doing more than opposition. If, if, if the government in power is not doing the right thing, we'll be comfortable, courageous enough to tell the government in power 
That was why I told you, when Buhari was president in this country, I wasn't a shy, I, I, I didn't shy away from telling him the truth and the government. And may I say to you, I said it here, that if the president, Ahmed Bolatinumbu, is shying away from his brief, I, Ayofayushi Ushu, will be courageous enough to tell him. You see, I'm 63, you are not a small boy anymore. <laughs> that time is gone. There are not boys who will eat a car and forget your parents. I stand by what I say, and I want to assure you. You don't have to even be in a political party to stand up for an in, stand in opposition. But you don't oppose when you don't need to oppose the whole. You don't fight an innocent person if, it's not, if that person has not done anything wrong. So what do we want to criticize Ashwaju for today? So did you have votes? That in your opinion. <laughs> in your opinion, we should ask you whether you are APC. We should ask you to, may, may I say this to you again, that at that, that point in time, even if Ashwaju didn't become the president of Nigeria, all the other aspirants publicly said they would remove subsidy. So that means that's the only way to go. Obi said I would remove. He said it was a racket. Atiku said it's a racket. Certain cabals are enjoying it. Ashwaju said, when I get there, I will remove. He has removed. There is no time you will have things going on perfectly. But when we are working towards perfection, things will turn around. A damaged, a damaged house cannot stand up like a new house. You need to repair it to make it what it ought to be. What he did so far, so good. Anyone? Any other questions? <laughs>